Is that a pig set? What is that a piglet? Baby back ribs and belly ribs together. Looks like a dog, eh? Yeah. You think that looks like a dog? You think that looks like a dog? Yeah, it's a bit of That's a controversial weird. one. Guys, how are you going? Hi. What have you got here? You got any vegan options here? Yes, yeah. Vegan, no. Vegetarian. Veg vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, what, what's your vegetarian option? It's halloumi. Halloumi. Ah, oh, it's cheese. Halloumi. What do you eat? The vegetarian option or? You eat the veg Are you a vegetarian? I just, I just had a halloumi burger. You had a halloumi burger? Okay, so here we go. Six weeks aged ex-dairy cattle. So this is an ex-dairy cows. But they're aged for six weeks, so they hang them up in a cool room to like, I don't know, I guess they kind of, they go like a bit mouldy and a bit, yeah. Ex-dairy cow. The whole side of the animal there. Have you heard of a vegan before? Yeah. Yeah? You have? What do you think of that? I think it's great if, it's you, good. if that's what you want. There's her bones there. What will that be, medium? Medium? Rare. Rare. Have you thought about putting on like some, like, I don't know, what, what would you have that's Greek and vegan? What could you make? What about vegan kebab meat, like in a, like a vegan euros? And here's the, um, they're, they're built like the same way we are, so it's like the side of someone's body there, you know, and she, she had a life at ex dairy cow, so she bore children her whole life that were taken from her, and now she's ended up on the grill. Why yeah. are you vegan, obviously? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah but it's, you know, like, vegan options are getting really popular. I know. And if you chucked one on, then you've got, you have a, a whole new I customer know. base. And we have a lentil salad there as well, which is But great. a vegan souvlaki soon. It's coming. In the pipeline. In the pipeline. Okay. You're giving me food for thought. Food for thought. Yeah. Vegan food for thought. <laughs> hey brother, you got any vegan options here? Yeah, what do you want? You got vegan, vegan options? Vegan options. Go inside. Okay, so here we got um, a pan fried leg of lamb, a lamb's leg hacked off of a baby. Oh, we got chicken schnitzel, so they, they crumb it and fry it, but really it's just a dead baby. They've got roast potatoes with butter, so that's not vegan. Um, the, the broccoli, if it doesn't have any butter, you might be laugh, like lucky there. A bit of cherry tomatoes. They need uh, less legs of babies and more um, more vegan options. Let's go into the dirty vegan and ask them. Are we allowed to come in? We'll see what they say. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great, thank you. How are you? Who owns, the, uh, do you have a manager here? Who owns the restaurant? Yeah, this is your place. Hey, go on, mate. The That's you, 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 both of you do. Yeah. You know there's a barbecue festival there? Yes. Yeah. We, we've just actually put our barbecue away. You we had did. a yes, competitive had barbecue? In amongst all the dead animals outside, we thought we we're going to do our own barbecue and give it all to Friends Animal Farm Sanctuary. Oh, that's amazing, dude. Look at this. This is what we're talking about. Look, jackfruit Satan ribs, spice Satan satay. Look, the kind barbecue. That's the only type of humane meat. We were talking about humane meat before. This is the only time. Like, the life is one thing, but what about the murder, the death, the killing, the stabbing, the, the shocking? That's not a th an issue for you? What I think is, it's what Hugh Fernie Winston calls the trade-off, so you've given them a uh, predator-free life and they've lived a very happy life. This is the only humane welfare treatment of animals when they go to a sanctuary and they don't be killed. Rudy's Dirty Vegan Diner, Camden. The Dirty Vegan Diner, Camden, put on a kind barbecue in the midst of the uh, unkind barbecue there. Did you see the pig's head on the barbecue over there? I did. Is that a pig's head? What, is that a piglet? Yeah. I was asking them, doesn't it look like a dog's head? Because it's not the normal no, no type difference. of piece. There's no difference. No difference at all. Yeah, yeah, it's, good. it's upsetting, isn't it? You think that looks like a dog? You think that looks like a dog? They're convinced that these are coming from cattle and, and farm animals that are rolling around in fields and, it's you know, crazy. they think they're humanely slaughtered, they've had a great life, as if that's an excuse for it anyway, oh. but... You it'd know. be like going to a sanctuary and going, you have all had a good life, let's go kill you and all we'll eat you, and that'll be humane. Yes. What, can you whip us up? Can you whip us up some food? This menu's actually sold out. So I'm out Yeah, that that's okay. Today. Can we well, eat off the menu? For sure, man. Have a look at the menu. A dirty you. dog. Check it out. Wow. 
Satan chicken. We, you know what? We're going to go hard and have a couple of burgers, I think. He said, well, I'm allowed to film, but I'm just not allowed to interview anyone. So uh, we just got in trouble by the man for interviewing people about whether that's a pig or a dog, I think. And they said, this isn't political here. But veganism's nothing to do with politics, it's to do with ethics. It's completely different. But um, seemed a little bit upset, but luckily uh, everything will all be fine when we get our burgers and uh, we'll enjoy them. Look at that, the dirty burger. That's I'm going to you know I'm going to try it while you're here. Is that a brioche bun? It's a big potato, mashed potato. A mashed potato. It's got vegan bacon. Oh my god, watch this. Oh my lord. That is dangerous. That's so good. I can't believe they're eating murdered animals over there when you got this right here. That's crazy. Oh, what have we got this one? A saboteur? Yeah, it's a twist on a whole chicken. Uh, nah, he just said I can't interview people. With, he's our friend. He said I'm allowed to film myself eating and no, don't go and disturb any of the public and he said no worries. Okay, okay, because he just told me about the filming. Okay, okay. He said as long as I don't film any of the, go in there and ask people questions and interview people, he said he's alright. Okay, okay, okay. We're just doing this and then we're going, just going to have some food. No problem, no problem. Okay. No worries, buddy. This is a spin off on the Hunter's Burger. It is, it is. The Hunt Sab, look, oh my god, it's got coleslaw, look at that. Oh my lord. Okay, we're gonna go in. Wow, that's crunchy. Do you make that yourself? That's about 30 times better than the KFC one that I had the other day. Really? Yeah. That's something special. That's our vegan pastrami. That's taken a year to develop. I feel yeah. super privileged having this right now, eh? Wow. The pickles make it, dude. That is the best sandwich I've ever had. I didn't expect that to be the best. A Reuben. Natty mozzarella sticks, crispy yeah. fried, and that's with a spicy marinara. This looks like my diet's out the window. This isn't the one for Weight Watchers. It's a bit hot, man. <laughs> wow, you make this cheese better. Now this one here's naughty. What did you do this for? So that's a banana biscoff shape. So that's uh, your classic biscoff like all the vegans know and love. Yeah. Um, banana, it's a coconut based ice cream and oat milk. Wow, and what do you sprinkle on top? Some gold dust? Yeah, it's got gold luster straight up the top. <laughs> Some gold yeah, dust. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's crack in. The golden biscoff banana bonanza. <laughs> the golden banana bonanza. Wow, let's have a chuck. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is all amazing. You got some great stuff here, dude. I'm really impressed. I don't. I, this is the first time I've heard about this place. We come here specifically to go talk to the people at the barbecue, and then we were, we were met with this. So good work, man. Keep up the good work, and and for doing that on today's epic, man, and raising money for a sanctuary in the face of that. Yeah. in the middle of all of the murder. Then, yeah. yeah, and you're doing a positive thing for animals. Saving a few animals in a yeah. right? So, totally, man. Yeah. No. Oh my god. So there you go, like, check out these burgers. Look at that. Amazing burger, you don't have to murder any animals, you know, stab them in the throat. So he's out here doing, you know, a vegan barbecue in the face of a, you know, murder fest over there and he's raising money for animals in sanctuaries that were rescued from farms and abattoirs that murder and exploit animals so what a beautiful legend and what delicious food and goodbye my abdominal muscles food bro everyone films food with their phone i'm not interviewing people harassing anyone i'm not causing trouble you're causing trouble well, well, I'm just filming a hot dog. Yeah, yeah, but the funny thing is, yeah, have you got a license, have you got a license to, come to, do, to do your filming here? Well, why don't you tell everyone their phones to get their phones out their pocket? Well, well, you, well, you do what you got tell them to stop. Look, she's filming her food right there. Listen, well, she's doing everything. You're causing a big yeah, scene yeah, yeah, in yeah, my yeah, friend's yeah, yeah. Scene, restaurant. Scene what? Scene what? There ain't no scene there. Ain't no yeah, there scene. is. Ain't no you're scene. causing yeah, a scene, dude. I'm filming you, a hot dog. You're, you're saying one thing out there, you're doing another I'm thing. I'm not interviewing anyone, dude. Yeah, listen, listen. I, I just it was very specific to me. Listen, listen. Stop harassing the part of the. At the end of the day, let him go and tell that to the people that. 
say he, he pays rent to like I'm saying they tell me one thing and I do it he told, told me to do. stop interviewing people I said I'm just going to film my food here yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. He's coming right now. He's coming right now. So you tell him. Oh, shit. Listen, listen, listen. No disrespect to you, but as I said, if you're up front with me, I'm front with you because I'm not going to come and start manhandling you and so throwing you off the site. Basically, all I'm saying is, if I don't lie to you, you don't lie to me. I'm a big old grown man, like I'm saying. But they're watching and you're looking. I'm thinking, come on. Yeah, because I, you're I, looking down at me like I'm doing something wrong, Dad. Nah, I'm not so causing no, any problems. No, no, you no, come no. in and started no. getting a bit upset. All you got to do is tell the truth, Dan. That's all I'm saying. Tell, listen, tell the truth. I don't lie. I don't lie to people, Dan. I'm not causing and, any problems in there, though. You know, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. I was out there a little bit, like by just talk, but just talking about meat and stuff with people that are eating meat well, but not in here this well, is a completely well, different well, that, that's brought attention to you like I'm saying and yeah you're and you're just doing you. your job yeah, I know yeah, 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 yeah. and you're just doing your job yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's no more filming now yeah, yeah. really good hey, oh, dude nice to meet you you're a legend man thanks for everything you're doing here eh and that made me really emotional seeing you do that eh I was All right, so we're just at the train station now, finished filming, and I was just uh, thought I'd do some finishing thoughts on the day because uh, it's interesting to me how like they're cooking a hacked off dead baby's head on a barbecue, tortured animal bodies, ex dairy cows hacked up into pieces on a grill. Yet I'm the one who's kicked out of that festival <laughs> for talking to people about how it's wrong. How crazy is that? That's the world we live in.